Hey guys, Mike Miner here. Another cool stuff today on Axie Infinity. I tried to develop something, some new features on my manager Mike Miner dashboard utility. I tried to add a QR code scanning for, for our scholars. The reason why I have this idea is because I want to have productivity on my scholars in terms of when they try to do grinding. Let's say in the middle of the night, they try to, they, they are not able to access anymore the, the game. It's because their, their, their session has already expired. So what they need to do is they need to get another QR code in order for them to, to log in again. So the problem is if, let's say, if you're in the middle of a meeting or if you're in the middle of sleeping, then most probably you're not able to answer those scholars that you have. So from this uh, episode, I'm going to share something about how you can be able to, to give them a permanent QR code link in order for them to, to be able to access any time when in times of their, their session has already expired. So to get started, you need to, to be able to log into your uh, run-in. So the first thing is you have in order for you to have this kind of feature, you must be able to, to, to have a license on the website. The reason why we are having this license is because we are only trying to give priority or we are giving importance to those people who are really serious about their scholars, which means that this manager is really being productive in terms of you don't want to spend time in trying to to get this qr code or later on we might have some features like you don't want to to transfer one by one to their scholars for the slp for the payout that they have so that's the reason why we are having this you have to provide your private key so that's the main reason so the issue here is the private key so most people really don't want to to provide their private key it's because of of the security issue so in terms of uh, storing the private key, when you try to key in in our in our uh, application, it's only stored in your web browser, and then in your web browser, going to process your QR code. It's all stored in your local local storage, so no one will be able to see your private key. So it's your option, it's your choice. If you want to to provide this privacy, we respect that. But in terms of sharing, I, I just have to share with you how productive it is if you have this uh, private key and you will be able to do some more features that you, you, you no need to do it manually. All you need to do is just a one click of a mouse then that's it. You can be able to do, you can just spend maybe a minute or less than a minute then you can do something else instead of spending more like 30 minutes or an hour just to, to do a payout or, or maybe just to, to provide them the QR code it's just a few seconds or a click or no need actually if you have the QR code you don't need to do anything it's just a permanent link so that's the advantage of this kind of it's an issue of security so it's a privacy issue so so I respect that one but I'm just sharing to you on it's open I'm just giving it to everyone to anyone so I just have to share with you how am I trying to to, to do the QR code so First step is what you need to do is you open up your run in wallet and then you try to log in. And then you have to go to your, uh, let's say, for example, you want to you want to set up for, let's say, team 01, which is uh, one of my uh, scholars, team 01. And what you need to do here is this is my team 01 <clears throat> team 01 juni which is my professor so what you need to do is you just have to click this this pencil icon which it, which meant for edit <clears throat> for being a skull or for being a, a license or having a license is you will be able to access this uh, icon and then this another icon and then uh, this reset icon so and then but in the future you will be having another maybe for 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 having a license you will have you will have a benefit of having this kind of mmr feature 
like you will know the the current mmr and then your rank overall and then you will have also this <clears throat> graph below <coughs> sorry excuse me so you will have this mmr below which is your progress you'll be able to see what's the mmr for each individual of your scholars so uh the so first thing is what you need to do is you click this pencil icon and then uh, it will prompt you if you want to change your wallet alias which is your uh, the name of your wallet and then you need to provide your private key here so how you can be able to access your private key so you, what you need to do is you just have to go to your run-in and then you, you click this icon on top and then you you need to to manage click manage and then you select which scholar you want so let's say this team juni and then you you key in your your you click this view private and then you try to key in your password so you key in your password as soon as you key in your password it will show you your private key so what you need to do is just copy this one copy and then once you have copied this uh, private key you can be able to paste it in here in your private key as soon as you have copied in here in order for you to generate the qr code what you need to do is just press this qr code icon and then it will generate a new page for your uh, color so this page will, will, will show you a QR code and then the URL on top. You just have to give this to your scholar. And then this link will, will never expire unless you're going to reset the QR code. Once you reset the QR code, the scholar will not be able to access anymore the link. Another cool feature that we have for having a license in the Mike Miner dashboard utility or tool, it's Will you be able to see the MMR of your scholar? You'll be able to, to recognize what's their MMR pending or rank in uh, Axie Infinity. So at the moment, you can see here, there's an MMR value, 833, 597, 739, so on and so forth. So this information will, be, will help you to be able to follow up your your scholars on what are the things that you can achieve or what are the things that you can improve on, on on your team in order for you to have a more higher slp gain or higher grinding uh, profitability daily so another feature also is you'll be able to see here the graph of the mmr what who is the, the winning or the 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 team that is uh, leading so currently like that so you have here the team 04 which is on the lead and actually the investor kit 01 is the leading one <clears throat> so you can see like that the progress and then you will have a feature also if as i mentioned previously that you'll be able to reset the qr code let's say if your scholar tries to, to resign or he don't want to continue anymore so what you need to do is just press this reset qr code and then he will not be able to access anymore that qr code unless he saved that qr code and then the qr code is not yet fire so he can still use that one but once you reset this and then he's using the link uh he will not be able to access that link anymore that qr code is gone ready and then it will generate a new one so that's the beauty of this qr code so that's all guys thanks for watching this is uh i hope i hope you 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 learned something on how how to be a manager and then how to be productive being a manager and then you'll be able to to consume most of your most of your time being productive instead of trying to to focus more on the, the grinding side but what you can do is just use this dashboard in order for you to have a decision making, in order for you to analyze data, in order for you to have uh, uh, a statistics that you'll be able to provide to your uh, scholars and then inform them or discuss with them 
what are the things that you can improve like maybe you can buy new axi or maybe you can upgrade your axi and then and then i think it will help improve your mmr your or your grinding daily so that's the advantage of having this dashboard in order for you to monitor as well so we can see also the total slp sooner or later <clears throat> i might be adding some more features like uh, you'll be able to do a payout just one press here one click of a button and then just uh, you just have to key in how much share per per scholar but currently we have already in here so what you can do here is maybe an uh, a box here that says how many share that this uh scholar is having because sometimes there might be some scholars that is a different percentage so it's best to customize it and then just try to enter here and then you will have a one click of button that says payout and then it will automatically pay your scholars so you don't care anymore by opening your your run in and then you just you press from your marketplace what you need to do is just press claim one by one so let's say <clears throat> just try to imagine if you have <clears throat> 100 scholars <clears throat> it's very hard to manage those if you have a 100 scholars or even 10 or 20 it's very hard it's very hard to open up and claim and then you just have to compute it manually using a calculator i think a lot of time is being saved if you're gonna use a one one click of a button here coming from the dashboard so that's the advantage here of using this uh, might minor dashboard tool so in order for you to have a productivity i hope you learned something and then please do subscribe guys and then please like and then press the notification bell for <clears throat> for updates and then for more future topics that we are going to discuss here more more interesting topics maybe on axi or maybe on the mining side or anything that is new, I'm going to share it. Thanks for watching and then have a good day and God bless.